Nimble Streamer DVR allows recording incoming live streams and playing them via HLS and MPEG Dash. In this video, we show the setup of DVR and its usage. A Nimble Streamer instance has been previously installed. We have launched an incoming RTMP stream and have set Nimble to repackage it into HLS and Dash. Proper RTMP interface is set as required. Nimble also has an incoming SRT stream as a listener. In addition to that, we have a transcoder producing a couple of renditions from RTMP input. We made an ABR stream with original resolution and those two streams. Now we can proceed to DVR setup using live streams settings. We add a new DVR setting and specify the application name. This enables Nimble to record all streams within that app. We set the recording duration to one hour, which means older data will be removed to save disk space. There are multiple options to control DVR. We enable two of them. These are drop and valid segments and keep protocol timestamps. All options are described in the main article provided in the description. Once the setting is synchronized with Nimble, it will start recording the input streams. Now, after some time, let's check what Nimble streamer has recorded. You can see four streams, each having respective parameters like resolution and codec. Our cloud panel allows viewing each recorded stream timeline. It shows periods of time for which a recorded content exists in the archive. You can click on any point within that recorded range to watch recorded content from that particular point. As you can see, the recorded stream can be watched from any spot. You may view multiple streams timelines side by side to compare and watch. Another DVR feature is the read-only mode, which sets Nimble to stop recording while providing the playback capabilities. We have previously stopped streaming, so now we can resume it to see how this will be shown in the timeline. Here you can see that gap in the recording. Now let's see how ABR stream DVR can be used. You use ABR stream URL and proper suffix to access the recording. Modern players allow selecting renditions in a DVR stream. Another feature of Nimble Streamer and its DVR is to provide fragmented MP4 for output. The URL needs to be changed to request that specific container. As a result, you may play streams like that in a Safari even without special player if you want. You can see the proper segment being delivered and played. MPEG-Dash protocol is also supported for playback. You just need to choose a proper URL to access it. 
any dash enabled player can handle the dash DVR. Notice that ABR DVR is not supported for MPEG dash. Next DVR feature available in Nimble Streamer is the ability to use specific time range, which is used for EPG. It operates similar to other mentioned features. You need to use your playback URL to access it. In this case, you specify a start point as epoch time and a duration as shown here. The same applies to MPEG dash streams. Their URL adjustment is made the same way. You may even use a fragmented MP4 container together with EPG time range. Time shift playback works in a similar way. You specify how much time you want to move back and what is the duration that has to be available for a player. Another useful feature is the ability to extract thumbnails from DVR for any specific point in time. Nimble supports MP4 and JPEG thumbnails. JPEG requires Nimble Transcoder installed, so let's check the MP4 option, which is always available. To get an MP4 thumbnail, use this kind of URL based on stream URL and a time point. It can then be viewed directly in a browser and embedded into an HTML page. Last but not least, you may import your DVR archive into MP4 videos. That requires you to set up Nimble Streamer native API access. Once it's ready, you can use a command like the one shown here to download the archive. You can check the video description to get the article with more details as well as other related materials.